Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. I work as a software engineer. This video is in continuation with serverless framework. In the part one, getting started with serverless framework, I, I, I essentially gave you a small demo why we want to learn about serverless framework. It's easy, uh, allows you to deploy your, you know, it, it has a lot of templates essentially and allows you to deploy your serverless code within minutes, right? Everything is taken care of by their, by their framework, right? This video, I'll be teaching you a little more. Um, I have some scaffold. What I'm going to teach you is how to use external Python packages in the serverless framework. For example, pandas, numpy, you know, scipy, uh, all these packages. How do we use that in the um, serverless framework? How do we deploy all that? What configuration you need to do in the YAML file? I'll be teaching you all that. Okay. So without wasting much of time, let's get started with the video, guys. Well, um, you know, as you know right before doing anything i always practice right so i have certain codes and i'm gonna guide you step by step on how to do that okay so uh the first thing is you want to install serverless uh, if you have npm you can say npm install minus g serverless this will install the serverless uh, module on your computer after this you want to configure configure your access key and secret key uh, so you know here i'm saying um, you know, I'm saying serverless config provide item. This is my access key and my secret key that I'm providing. O stands for override. I'm going to override that, but I'm going to show you all that. Don't worry. Now we're going to create a project. So we are going to say serverless create template, right? And uh, we are saying AWS Python 3, right? And then we are giving it a name. So I'm going to give it a new name. I'm going to say Lambda or we can just say Okay, uh, path, uh, we're gonna essentially give the path as lambda learn as well, okay? So now I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put this in terminal. It will create this folder for you, okay? So I'm gonna open up a new terminal. As you can see, I'm in the root directory. I do not have any file called lambda learn. So I'm gonna fire, I'm gonna copy this command and then I'm gonna fire this on my terminal. Um, I know a lot of people did give me some suggestions. So what I'm gonna do is, sorry for that. I let me try to move my camera a little bit up or make it small so you guys can you know view things much more better right because a lot of people gave me some suggestion they're like oh Samuel you know when you're recording if you could kindly take care of you know um, these so so let me make sure that you guys can see everything okay so uh, I'm gonna you know uh, enter that command and essentially this will uh, you know create um, stuff for us okay so let me go up so now, uh, if you see my screen on the bottom section, the terminal, right? I put the command serverless create uh, tag tag template AWS Python 3 tag tag name lambda learn and then I give it a path, okay? So essentially I have given everything and at this point it's essentially gonna create my project. Uh, hopefully we can increase the camera size here. Okay, now um, I will use the magnifier and I'll try to zoom in as much as possible and show you, you know, all the steps we do. So over here we have lambda learn, right? So the, the, and you will see three files, git ignore, uh, the handler.py and serverless.yaml file, okay? So three files would be generated, right, at this point. Now, uh, you, if you can go to the, essentially the lambda handler, this is essentially a very simple hello world lambda code, right? So now let's say you wanna use pandas or you wanna use scipy or any sort of um, stuff you wanna use, right? So what we can do is first thing, uh, what I have observed is uh, before that I wanna show you something. So, uh, so, 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 let me go to the handler. By the documentation officially, they have said that before starting your code, you have to import unzip requirements. This is um, uh, said by, you know, uh, uh, serverless, right? So I'm gonna add my code there and then I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna say import pandas. So I wanna use pandas in my um, Lambda functions, right? So I'm gonna show you that, right? All this code, I would try to, you know, remove it and over here i will simply write my first simple very very simple pandas data frame i'm just writing my name here okay so nothing crazy all i'm doing is essentially you know printing the data frame 
and then I'm gonna say print or you know we can just do df dot g so essentially this will show you that it works okay it's all I'm trying to say okay so uh, this is ready now we need to do a couple of things here right so the first thing we will do guys is we need a requirements.txt so I'm gonna be creating a requirements.txt in this uh, lambda learn folder so I'm gonna click on file and then requirements.txt now um, you can you know you can uh, give pandas or you can give the exact version so on my computer I have a panda so I'm just gonna say pip show pandas uh, this will show me the version that I have on my computer so then I can just say pandas is equal to is equal to and then I can type in the version I think I'm using the version 1.0.5 so we'll put 1.0.5 <coughs> excuse me um, so that's done now let me close all of the things so that you don't get you don't get confused right so we have a handler function right all it does is simply create a pandas data frame uh, we have a requirements.txt which has a pandas module um, serverless.yaml file this is where we need to you know write something and, and change couple of things so I will show you what I've been doing so give me one sec I'm just gonna copy from one of my serverless.yaml I'm gonna dump this here and then I'll, I'll try to explain you okay let me zoom in so the first thing we're doing is we're creating a service this is this is gonna be like uh, let's let's name this something called um, okay uh, provider AWS runtime Python 3.6 so we are saying that we want to we are interested in using 3.6 this is a plugin that we are we are using called serverless Python requirements um, so you have to install this package uh, so if you come here you can simply use the command uh, um, this one you can say SLS plugin install or you can use an NPM as well so you want to install that that's a plugin um, custom we are saying python requirements dockerized pip true which means that this is gonna call a docker behind this and you have to have docker right it's gonna call docker and then it's gonna essentially uh, install the requirements and then it's gonna create a zip file so it's gonna do all that so that's that's gonna do that zip as true because you wanna zip this uh, you know um, then essentially uh, I'll, I'll explain you this part in a sec uh, then we have essentially function my function name right hello uh, and then handler handler dot hello which means I have a handler file and then I have a dot hello method in that so it's gonna invoke um, this method now another thing we gotta do is we wanna run this uh, locally so uh, I think it's fine for now so let me close this one let me close this let me close this and only open the serverless dot yaml file now over here we wanna just add pandas here okay so what I'm saying is guys you know I'm saying that hey include anything with pandas or anything with dot py file include that rest any all the other, other things don't include in the zip file right this is essentially what we are doing so very very simple um, this code I have taken a reference from uh, a particular github article I'll, I'll leave the links if I find it so that's that and now it's very very easy to you know run the project so now all we gotta do since you know you have done everything you have your requirements.txt right you have your requirements and I'm gonna again open up my code snippets now it's very easy what we gotta do is you gotta say serverless deploy and this will essentially deploy our microservice so now I'm gonna close everything up and then I'm gonna open this lambda in a terminal so I'll say open in terminal okay so I'll do dir I'm in that directory and now I'm gonna say serverless or you can say sls deploy so I do that and then essentially it's gonna take my pandas, it's gonna do all the requirements, it will do all the magic, it would create a cloud formation stack and unfortunately we do have an error. Uh, says serverless python requirements not found make sure that it's installed and listed in the plugin section of your serverless. Okay so it's not installed so what I'm gonna do is uh, over here I'm gonna run this command called sls plugin install serverless python requirement okay so i'm gonna run this command and then i'll run my deploy deploy command okay so let's wait for that so now it's installing the plugin as you can see and this might take a little while so kindly be patient let me collapse this and i can zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see things clearly so actually it's very easy you know what I mean uh, all you gotta do is um, if you do not have serverless uh, first of all please install it once you install it you need to configure your credential access key and secret key 
once you do that then you just got to create a project and then you know follow the steps after that right so the plugin has been installed now cls dir okay now i'm gonna say sls deploy okay and this might take a while but as i said right just be patient uh, might take a couple of minutes i'm not gonna edit the video because i want to keep it raw all the mistakes or all the problem i just want to upload the raw raw video okay so uh, we'll wait for a couple of more minutes now ideally one one to one and a half minutes because it's gonna you know call docker do the requirements all that stuff and then it's gonna deploy to the uh it's gonna deploy to the lambda function essentially so we will wait uh if i could find that um github post i'm not sure where exactly i was casually looking at one of the posts on how to do that and one guy essentially showed it so uh you know so meanwhile that's installing i can show you a couple of more things that i have written from my snippets section so you can deploy you can remove everything then you know you can invoke the function right from command prompt then you can also get, uh, fetch the logs from here it's beautiful guys this framework is extremely beautiful right makes things very very easy okay so uh, all you gotta do download the uh, download the serverless framework then you create a project once you create the project then you create the requirements.txt once you create the requirements.txt then essentially you add a one line remember that's important don't forget that line because i spent a couple of several hours uh, figuring that out import unzip so this should be on the top right once you put that one and then all you gotta do is install the plugin um, that uh, the one that i showed you right uh, this one right serverless python requirements so install that plugin uh, it's simple you know npm you can do with npm so right and then once you have done that and then you can just say sls deploy all set it you know so now let's wait you know uh, as i said i'm not gonna edit the video feel free to fast forward the video i'm gonna wait until this uh, gets completed It might take a while because pandas is a big relatively big module so I'm, I'm assuming it would be a little slow Let me just see the command for yeah so i think in order to invoke i just have to say now sls invoke the function name that that's pretty much it so yeah this framework makes things very easy man you know uh, deployment gives you a template uh you know so yeah I have tested this personally before the you know recording this video. I, I tried everything out on, on on my personal Amazon account. I invoked it. I was trying to fetch the log, so I tried everything. So I'm just gonna wait. Uh, you know, it's gonna take a while, guys. So you know, let's be patient because Pandas is a big library, right? It depends on NumPy, SciPy, and all the other dependencies. So uh, I'm gonna just simply you know keep recording until this happens, and then I'm gonna resume after that. So now I think it's the cloud formation stack, right? So it's gonna deploy all your. So you see, it takes care. You don't have to worry about cloud formation, this, that, blah, blah. The framework takes care of it. Is all I'm trying to say, okay? Yeah, it took me a while to figure this out. I mean, I started probably around early morning i was just casually you know i was like okay let me go to the documentation and just read about this so that's where i you know started learning experimenting by myself you know 
So now I guess it's deploying SLS pandas py. I think my function name was, what did I name my function? Oh, don't remember, I think it's hello or? Uh, yeah, it's hello, that's fine. So it's gonna override the function I'm assuming, but but let's wait, you know, let it complete. So now it's updating the cloud formation stack. It's ta it takes a while, you know, it's a lot, lot of steps it's doing for you. Uh, oh, by the way, this function gets appended to an S3 bucket, okay? So uh, this is the one that I did before I, this video. So I'm just showing you live that it works, you know. I tried with um, SciPy and NumPy, it did work. And now I'm, I haven't tried Pandas, I'm just recording the video and I'm assuming it's gonna work. <laughs> I mean, in theory, it's gonna work. The steps are same, right? So, okay, so uh, the function has been deployed. Now, I can refresh this. Uh, SLS pandas py dev hello, right? So that's your um, um, function. Now, I can I, we can invoke it from the UI or we can do it from 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 the terminal too. So I think it's called SLS. SLS invoke minus F. And I think it's it the function name I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, I, I guess I might be wrong, but if I'm wrong, it's fine. We, just the syntax, whatever. Okay, so let's see. SLS does not take, oh, I think the name does not look good. So I think it's hello, um, I guess. Because uh, in my YAML file, that's what I named it, right? So I will say, try this one and see if this works. If not, we can try it from the UI too, right? Uh, it's just a matter of syntax. I might be missing a syntax here, but uh, yeah. There you go, I mean, it works. So I think uh, you gotta put the name of the function that you gave in the YAML file, which was hello. So as you can see, the pandas works, right? Saumil, Nitin, we have a shape here, right? So if we go to the handler function now, uh, we have this print statement, and this is running on, on, on this AWS, right? Uh, you invoked it, you're fetching the logs, it does all that for you. Now, piece of cake to remove everything, you can say SLS remove. This is gonna call the cloud formation stack and it's gonna remove your Lambda, your, your 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 packages and all that. So now, you know, it's removing from the S3 bucket, now removing the cloud formation stack. It does all that automatic, automatically, right? So let me share my another screen. So you clearly see why you guys wanna learn about this framework, right? Initially, you gotta do all these manually, so tedious. This framework takes care of the cloud formation, deployment, everything it takes care. So this is how you can use external packages in Python, uh, Lambda with serverless framework. I would leave the GitHub links as well in the description. So in, maybe if you wanna check what, how I did it, the, 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 the YAML file, you can check that out. With that being said, I hope you have really enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it, do let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming, and see you guys in the next video.